Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Sony can't do it, but Marvel can. Welcome to our pop. <laughs> Hey guys, all right, so I feel motivated. Uh, I'm gonna draw me some Vulture and while well, I discuss the new Spider-Man movie. As you can see here, I am drawing with straight pens and Sharpies. You know me, I don't use pencils, you know. Uh, all right, so I'll start my review by saying that uh, I'm definitely spider man out. Superhero fatigue has definitely crept into my system and uh, I'm just like, uh, so so like subpar superhero movies are just now like bad subpar movies as opposed to like you know it used to be like decent superhero movies were really good because it was a superhero movie but yeah it's definitely superhero fatigue has definitely creeped up on me and Spider-Man has definitely definitely been there um now I'm not really sure if that's a bad thing you know because now I can, you know, we can judge these films. There's so many that we can look at them with a critical eye now. And we can be a little harsh with the studio because we want more from our movies than just the origin story or whatever, you know? So, uh, and, and you know what? Let me, let me step back a little bit. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming is not a bad movie. Like... Spider-Man Homecoming, you know, it's the first collabo with Sony and Marvel, and and it was good. I, you know, I liked the movie. Um, you can tell it was a Marvel production, and it didn't have that Sony stank that you know normal movies do. Uh, I personally go back and forth between whether it's Sony or Warner Brothers that's the worst studio in Hollywood right now. So. Um, so yeah, it's I, I don't want to come off like this is a negative review. I think I liked, I enjoyed the movie, I had a good time with it. Um, so, all right, why I'm doing the vulture here? Uh, the reason I'm gonna draw the vulture is because I really liked his costume in the movie. I really liked the character, uh, as opposed to the comic book original character that just had the little bird man, you know, and he looked he looked terrible, you know. Uh, and I really like this. I like that they, you know. They use the technology uh, from uh, the Avengers, and and uh, it it wasn't like some sort of wing suit that was in the lab the way the other movies were setting it up. Uh, their strengths are, you know, that they're just one of us. You know, like Spider-Man is just a kid uh, with certain po problems, and he's in situations that we understand that we can relate to as a character that's why he's the most popular superhero in the world you know um and and i actually felt the same way about the vulture that's why i really liked uh, michael keaton um because he's just like this working everyday joe uh just a man trying to take care of his family and you know it it it, it really showed in the movie and i really liked that you know um so tom holland did a great job with spider-man i I think he makes a terrific Spider-Man. Um, I, I felt he was a little too old for t uh, 15. Like when they said that line that he was 15, I didn't really buy it so much because I know he's only 21, but you know, I just, I didn't like him. I don't think he's a 15 year old kid, so. Uh, but he had a lot of charm and he he wore the mantle well. Like I think, you know, they, they, they still picked a good job uh, with him. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, yeah. character-wise, I think the, the only character I didn't like was probably Ned. Uh, the actor was fine, but uh, I just didn't like the character. I actually didn't think he was a good friend of Peter. So, uh, but you know that that's just uh, my own opinion, and you know I'm sure they played it up that way or whatever. But um, and like I said, the actor was funny. They had some great moments, but I thought he was a bit annoying, and you know. A little selfish as a friend, you know. Um, okay, so 
start off this review a little negative, and I'm coming really to the positives. It is a really good movie. Uh, I, I, no, no, I can't say that. It is a good movie, not a really good movie. Um, I did like it. I liked Iron Man in it, Tony Stark, the cameos, the Easter eggs, um, the things that were just okay. The, re the reason it's not a really, really good movie and just a good movie was that it was really safe it was really by the numbers peter didn't wear that weight like when uncle ben died and i don't want to see uncle ben die again i mean believe me that poor guy has died more than you know martha and thomas wayne but uh there's more weight like this movie felt like peter was just concerned about being an avenger not that every time i try to be a hero I, something bad happens and that's the Peter Parker's character every time because he, he initially didn't do something good to save a life every time he does something good bad things still happen and I just didn't feel that I just felt that it was more like hey I want to be part of the team I don't want to go to school anymore that sort of thing uh, and I just don't I didn't really you know it, it didn't play well to me so I thought I, I even though this is better than the Amazing Spider-Man series, those two movies. Um, I, I I don't think it's as good as Sam Raimi's first Spider-Man. Uh, just because of that, it just didn't have he didn't have that weight, and and maybe in the second one we'll get to see a little bit more of that. But uh, yeah, I thought the film was just a little too safe. So you know that's about it. I really don't want to go into spoilers or anything like that. I want people to I see the movie. I actually recommend the film. Uh, but just, you know, understand that it's really almost, there's not, not a lot of, lot of, there isn't anything really special here. It's good, but there just isn't that Guardians of the Galaxy special, you know, it just doesn't have that, you know. Uh, okay, so I am, uh, finishing up this guy and I'm having some fun here. Now, uh, with the Vulture this drawing... I'm really playing up the blacks and the shadows, you know, I really just kind of making this into a contrast piece because like I liked that in the posters and concept art, the vulture was above and the light, it was really like the moonlight hitting him. So like there were a lot of heavy shadows underneath his wings and underneath him. And then we just see the silhouette. So I'll, I'll put this in Photoshop later and I'll talk. Uh, in fact, this is what I do. Uh, there are rumors that Craven the Hunter is going to be in the next film and let's uh let's discuss you tell me who should be the next villain in the uh spider-man sequel and when i pop this into photoshop and color it we can discuss uh my reasoning why i would like craven the hunter and uh you know i'll, I'll read some of the comments and uh you picked that villain or this villain so yeah leave your comment let me know who uh who sh spidey should be fighting and why and uh yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, peace.